Today we find ourselves up in Idaho in a little place called City of the Rocks. It's very primitive. Uh, no admission fee. It's dirt roads to get here. Um, there's a lot of rock climbing. Um, there might be some mountain biking, some trails. Um, but what we're doing today actually is driving up to Shoshone Falls near Twin Falls where they have a laser show at night. They light up the waterfall and have some music playing along with the laser show. And it's just one little event that uh, we thought would be fun to get out and see something new that we haven't experienced before. Um, so we also brought another fun little activity today and we'll show you that right here. So in one video, um, somebody asked about or made a comment about showing more videos with the kids. And up until this point, uh, the kids have been in school and my days off are not on the weekends. And so that makes it's made it tough to include them in some of my videos as they've had to stay in school. But I think that, that some of that desire to see the kids come along comes from uh, a thought process of how to include the kids and how to keep them entertained and have fun with them. Well, as a family what we've done or what we do is all sorts of outdoor activities. Um, this morning we played 18 holes of golf. That is my youngest son's favorite thing to do. And here today instead of just coming to see cool rock formations, which for me is enjoyable, we decided to bring these RC rock crawlers that we have and that has been a blast for them. Also, obviously the laser show that we're gonna go to, who, who wouldn't like a laser show? But uh, we do other things as a family. We go mountain biking, We go fishing. We fly RC airplanes. Hunting. Archery. Disc golf. Baseball. We, we go to see airplane races once a year. My profession, I'm an air traffic controller, and I have an interest in aviation. Uh, I've tried to pass that interest along to my children. And so while we're doing all of these activities, we draw parallels and metaphors and learn life lessons and talk about how we can be better human beings and better people in society and contribute to those around us and how we can... Uh, serve those around us, sustain ourselves, and um, become better people. And I think that those lessons are better learned through activity than they are on a chalkboard. Or I, I think that there's probably nothing more important in my life than being a father and raising responsible good children. And, you know, we try to do the best that we can. I think that those lessons are best taught and less lear best learned through outdoor activities. And that's a big part of why we do all of this that we do. And 
get out to enjoy the land of the free is so that we can learn hard lessons and go through hard challenging things like backpacking. Just next week we're going to go on a backpacking trip down in southern Utah and you know the kids learn to carry their own stuff and to be self-sufficient and to pack the things that are really important because if I want to pack a bunch of candy or a baseball mitt or th things like that well it sounds good when you're at home it doesn't sound so good when you're on the trail right and so those kinds of lessons are learned and learn about the things that we really need um, the things that actually bring us joy and through activities and being active and good healthy exercise and and those things rather than sitting at home playing video games hopefully you can take some of the things that, that we've done some of these ideas to um, come out and explore and see these things but also keep your children entertained along the way and um, the bottom line is it's about family family time and learning history and learning life lessons and becoming better people Okay, so here we are at Camp Rock, and it's in the city of Rocks, but this was an area used by the immigrants on the California Trail as they passed through, um, and this area had been previously settled by the Shoshone Indian tribe. Um, there were negotiations that took place and um, a settlement that grew in this area, but as they first came through, the immigrants camped in this area and they wrote their names up on the rocks as high as you can climb or as far as you could reach. Um, and those names are still there today. Our journey ends tonight as we watch the light show at Shoshone Falls in Idaho. This light show is totally worth the four hour drive from home all the way over here to get home at 2.30 in the morning. It is worth it. Come out here, it's fun. What do you think about the light show, Luke? It is awesome. Is it worth the four hour drive? Maybe, we'll see during our 
later. Wow. It's definitely not in your face kind of a show. Um, relaxing, mellow. We thought there were some lasers here. It's just lights shining on the waterfall, but the waterfall itself is spectacular. And if you're in the area around the Memorial Day weekend, I would recommend checking it out. If um, if you're not, I, I don't know that it's worth the trip, but if you do find yourself in the area, then come by and check it out. It's definitely a relaxing, uh, cool ambiance and a fun time. Um, but as always, it's it's a pleasure to get out and explore and see new things and like we say get out and enjoy the land of the free